Wait for it. We just topped it. A lunar railroad. A moon train. That's right. An actual moon train. Northrop Grumman wins DARPA contract for a railway on the moon. This is completely absurd as usual. That's what we cover is the craziness in this, in this world and what our government does and how loony they are. But they are talking about developing and there's an actual contract. It's actual taxpayer dollars. Your taxpayer dollars is going towards the development of this con concept. And they believe that in 10 years, they'll be able to have a train on the moon. Now, we all know that they can't even fix the trains in the United States, much less the bridges, much le less the toll roads, much less the anything. All the infrastructure is a complete disaster because all they know how to do is destroy infrastructure, Ukraine, but they don't know how to actually build it or fund it, nor are they willing to do it because... I don't know. This whole thing is all just ridiculous. But let's let's see what this thing says. Okay, there's an actual uh, press release, and here it is. So March 19th, Northrop Grumman Corporation. They've been selected by DARPA. DARPA is stands for Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. I know them as the dipshits, assholes, rhinos, peons, and assholes again. But they have. Um, they're going to further develop the concept of building a moon-based railroad network as part of a broader 10-year lunar architectural cap capability study. The envisioned yeah, lunar railroad network can tra transport human supplies and resources for commercial venture across the lunar surface. They can't even build a wall. They can't even build a wall. This is where we're at. Now, expert. Let's see who the expert is. Chris Adams. Want to take a look and see who this Chris Adams is? There's your boy right there. Check him out. He looks like a piece of work. I think he's in a wetsuit, like maybe looking to surf. I don't know why he's, um, he's not centered in the picture. Um, and I don't know why he's kind of creepy looking. But Chris Adams, Vice President and General Manager, Strategic Space Operations. This investment, your money... And key development research keeps our technology at the forefront of next generation solutions with our proven experience it, our proven experience in integration of complex systems and commercialized autonomous services will continue to create lasting changes for a sustainable space ecosystem. They can't even fix they can't even fix a truck stop bathroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are they even thinking? Um DARPA, they've been around for what, I guess the 50s. Um, it was created by Dwight D. Eisenhower. They were going to talk about launching Sputnik. Um, there she is. There's her concept. And let's see what this says. Running a train to the moon may seem profoundly silly. Ain't that the truth? Another consideration is tracks, moon buggies, certain blah, 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 blah. I, I can't even I can't even read this to you. It's so insane. This is where our money is going. This is where your taxpayer dollars are going. This is where I don't know who is making up this thing. If I were to surmise a guess, I would say that somebody's scratching somebody's back and somebody needs to keep Northrop Grumman busy. Someone probably knows Chris Adams and someone probably needs a couple of paychecks. This is called the uh, corporatocracy, corruption, and this is why we are in so much big trouble. So if you can't get health care, you're struggling to get health care, you're struggling to put food on the table, if you're living paycheck to paycheck and all you want is a sound government, liberties and freedoms, this would be a, a telltale reason of completely absurd spending in people that have no idea what they're doing. They're not Elon Musk. If they were Elon Musk, he would probably say something like, if, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> Is that clear? Right. He'd probably say something like that, which because he's the only one that successfully is able to build and get this, they get some sort of um, space program going. The, the, the government cannot even provide safety. They can't even protect for the welfare of the people. This is so ridiculous on its head that this is why we need to get uh, term limits that we need to get them voted out. And by the way, I'd love your comments. Do you guys 
believe that we should have a, a, a lunar moon train, a loony train. Um, if you, you know, I, I just, it, it make it baffles my mind what these people are doing. And I just wish that we could get our country back together. And I think we can, we got to stop. Number one, stop the lunar moon chain. Let's stop the lunar moon chain. In fact, there's a video out. Let's play this little video. If you guys got some time, I'll, uh, here it is. This is by uh, Kali 4.0, and I'll let you, you know. I'll tag him below if you guys want to watch the whole video and subscribe to his channel. But let's just watch this. Backed by DARPA funding, Northrop Grumman is embarking on a mission to lay down tracks across the moon. The aerospace and defense company has won a DARPA contract to bake out a concept for a lunar railway system. The project is part of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's broader Luna 10 study aiming to establish sustainable infrastructure on the moon by 2035. As envisioned, the Lunar Railroad Network would transport humans, supplies, and resources for commercial applications. It would connect outposts, mines, and research facilities, supporting activities ranging from mining, tourism, scientific research, and even manufacturing. Chris Adams, Vice President and General Manager of Strategic Space Systems at Northrop Grumman, said in a news release, with our proven experience in the integration of complex systems and commercial autonomous vehicles, we will continue to create lasting change for a sustainable space ecosystem. As part of the study, Northrop Grumman will identify the technological and logistical challenges of building a lunar rail network, develop prototypes and logistical challenges of building a lunar rail network, develop prototypes and simulations to test the railway system's design and performance under lunar conditions, and explore the use of specialized lunar robots and autonomous systems for construction and maintenance tasks. However it's done, installing a transportation network on the moon will present unprecedented challenges. With a surface as large as Africa, setting up a lunar railway system is like installing a continent-wide transportation network in the harsh- All right, shout out to uh, Khalil 4.0. That was a pretty good video. Um, the one thing he didn't point out is how ridiculous this is. It's never going to happen. It's never going to come to fruition. We can't waste our money on this. We need to um, work on all of the infrastructure in the United States, including building a wall, including uh, the, inf the bridges, the, bri the, the dams, the bridges, the, the roadways. We don't have time for this. Guys, um, if you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the, the lunar landing and, and what you think we should spend our money on. Leave a comment below and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and you can always support the channel by, you know, we got some swag down there. And also I wrote a really cool book about the deep state, taking down the deep state. We could do that as well. Other than that, I'll see you guys on another video. See ya. Bye.